good day everyone and welcome to my youtube channel pain free partha i request everyone to subscribe and see videos and enjoy and also give a comment now today's short video is going to be on the anatomy of the epidural catheter now you can see this is an epidural catheter 18 gauge this is 16 gauge catheter this is an adapter for this this will not go this 16 gauge catheter is unlikely to go inside this now this is an adapter now we can see there are this is this this is made up of silicone this blue is made up of silicone you can see there are four ridges in this four ridges in this silicone and this is fused here where we can insert we can see the adapter color is being slightly bluish where it is not here these four ridges and there are three holes here and this will close here like this and you can see you can focus on this hole what happens if I close now if I close the hole will get completely compressed there is an coming out here that will compress the silicone now I am again opening it now I am introducing the catheter through this blue now unless it goes full now you see it has gone full how much it has gone full now you can see outside this is up to here only here only and this portion is not being given the catheter space at all and you put it like this and then close it now if you inject the drug will go now you can see the drug there are three lumens in this one two three this is a maximum of 1.5 centimeters now if you insert the catheter three centimeters inside the epidural space see the proximal lumen see the proximal lumen is well inside the epidural space you don't need to push the catheter so much distance you just need to push in this much itself the catheter see the proximal most proximal see the distal all the three are well inside the epidural space okay this is about these three things three holes now if you have you just again i am telling you open this i have already shown you there are four things here and three holes here this will get compressed this ridge will go into the gap of here there are gaps here you can see this ridge will go and compress this silicon compress this silicon so that the catheter doesn't come out and if you only put this much and close it and it will close but the drug will not go you can see the drug is not going very slowly going because here you can see the ridges it is compressed by it if your tip is not distal to the fourth ridge if the tip is not distal to the fourth ridge yes the compression may compress the tip so the flow will not be there that is why if you insert halfway through sometimes you cannot in inject the drug unless you inject it insert is completely and then close it now this closure you can see here I am just to focus here now I am doing the other side from here you focus here now I am opening this what happens when you open it I am just telling this now this black hole is there now there is a hole now I am closing it there is a complete closure of this so that this thing is compressed okay now this adapter has got a 0.2 ml of dead space so but if you have a bacterial filter here that is 1.2 ml so especially if you are giving thoracic epidurals we need to give 4 ml 5 ml there we need to understand whether we have completely pre-filled the bacterial catheter if we have not pre-filled the bacterial catheter here it will take in its own around 1.2 ml and then only the drug will go okay this is about the anatomy of the epidural catheter where we can see the ridges
the silicon being compressed and here this side we cannot inject inside it there is a small hole here you can see we cannot put in the this thing here because it is very difficult to maneuver it and the lumen is slightly smaller than this one more thing you can see one more thing is here you can see there is a small easiness till it goes through here and then as as soon as you get these big ridges there will be slightly difficult so that is one more things one more thing about this anatomy of epidural so catheter thank you